everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I'm so excited to share this stamp set with you today. This is the Mixed Drinks stamp set from Stampin' Up! And it has all these really great drink combinations that you can make, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. There's a cute little mason jar here, and you can use this one for milkshakes and different things like that. So we're going to make a card that's super simple and quick. I'm using a three and a half by seven note card and when you fold it in half it makes a five by three and a half card. These are great, they come in a pack of 20 and they come with envelopes. So if you're looking for a way to make really quick, easy cards, this is this is a great option um, to do that. Okay, so let me grab my bone folder over here. That is the one thing about these, you do need to kind of run a bone folder along them to keep them that crease nice. We're gonna go ahead and open up the stamp set here. And I made these cards for my team members that achieved the top 10 in sales for the month of May. And I've already sent them out to them, but um, these were these were so cute, so easy. When I make a bunch of cards, I look for something easy, but that has a fun appeal to it. And that's what this card did for me. Okay, so we have Memento Tuxedo Black ink here, which is one of my favorite black inks. And I'm just gonna stamp this little glass right in the center. Now, something to note is that the bottom of all of these glasses that are shown in the stamp set have this little, I'm gonna use my Copic here to point, they have this little black line. That is where the bottom of the glass is. You know when you're drinking a glass and then there's like this little line under, or there's this little thick spot at the bottom of the glass? That's what this is. So I'm gonna show you how to stamp on that so that you don't cover that part up. We're gonna use crumb cake ink. And I don't wanna use the ink at full, full speed, <laughs> at full um, strength. So I'm stamping it into the crumb cake and then I'm gonna stamp it off and then I'm gonna go right over the top and I'm gonna line the bottom of my stamp up with this, not the bottom of the glass, but the little line and stamp it down, and now I have my milkshake. I really have the urge to bust out in song and seeing my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, but I'm not going to because, you know, I'll embarrass you. Okay, I'll embarrass me, but same thing. All right, so now I've stamped my little frothy whipped cream right there at the top, and I'm gonna grab the straw, there's a couple different types of straws in here. There's a long straw that goes all the way to the bottom and then there's a short straw that you can just stamp at the top. I'm gonna use a short straw because milkshakes are thick and so you wouldn't see the straw all the way down through the whipped cream in the milkshake. I'm gonna use real red ink for my straw. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna have to put my head in the camera. Sorry about that because I have to line up the bottom of this straw with the top of the whipped cream. And then we have a little bitty cherry in here, which is just the cutest little thing ever. I don't know if you can hear my little puppy's toes clanking around, but my little boy buddy here, he's chomping around behind me. Okay, and then I'm going to use um, some Real Red again for this cherry. And then I'm gonna use the sentiment in here. There's some cute sentiments. This one says, you're so sweet. So we're gonna use that one. And I'm gonna, again, in real red, and I'm gonna stamp it right under this milkshake. Now I'm gonna come in with my C1 Copic marker. If you're not into Copic markers, that's totally fine. I would recommend going on Amazon or somewhere and buying just one or two of the gray markers, like a C1 and a C3, because they're super handy for shading. So I'm just gonna take this marker, and this really finishes this card off. And I'm just flicking ink to the outside. Now, when it first goes on, it's a little model -y 
Mot Motlin, I think is the name word for that. But as it dries, it spreads out and it evens out and it looks really nice. And so then this is my finished card. Now I have a few other finished cards using the Mixed Drink stamp set to show you. And I thought I would show them real quick. This one I'm going to be sending to Officer Mike Erickson from the California Highway Patrol who was hit by a driver, ran over by one. Um, and so I've been sending him cards on a weekly basis just to give him encouragement. This one's really cute and fun. Friends don't let friends wine alone. And there's a couple wine glasses. And as you can see, I've used note cards for all of these because they're just a fun size. And then I did a pink version of this card. And then this is my favorite. I absolutely love this one. I drew this bar and I just colored it with Copic markers. And then I drew a little sign up here and then I stamped in the top, every hour with you is a happy one. And then I added Wink Estella to these um, drinks that are sitting on the bar. And th this officially is the only bar scene that I enjoy. <laughs> I hate the bar scene. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's so ooky and gross to me. It's just not a fun place to be. I just don't like going to bars. I really never have. I'm like was born an old soul. Even when I was in my 20s and all my girlfriends were going out and they always called me the mother hen because I was always trying to get them to leave early. Let's go do something else. I mean, I would have preferred pretty much anything to being hanging out in the bar. It just wasn't my thing. So anyway, there's my cards using the mixed drinks stamp set. I really hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you are interested in any of these products, the supply list is over on my website and it's linked in the description below this video. You can subscribe to my channel and I would appreciate it very much and like this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.